Hi and welcome. In this video, we are going to see how to restore a database to a specific point in time in SQL Server. And when do you perform this point in time restore? So let us consider a small example. I'll explain you using a simple illustration. So here I have a database with two records. I have taken a full backup. If I take full backup, I'll get those two records in that backup file. And then I'm going to insert one more record, which is record three. Then after I'll take a differential backup. And then I'm going to insert one more record. And then I'm going to take a log backup. So log backup contains the fourth record. Then after I'm going to insert one more record, which is record five. And then my record four has been deleted. Someone has deleted it knowingly or unknowingly and it has been deleted. So then after again, another log backup has been performed, which is my log two backup. This log two backup contains record five along with the delete transaction of the record four. So now if I want to restore a backup, I'll start with my full backup. So if I take a full backup and then restore, and then differential backup, I'll get the first three records, record one, two, and three. If I restore this first log backup, I'll get records one, two, three, and four. So till here, I have all the four records. If I restore, I mean, if I stop restoring till first log backup, but I need record five also. But if I restore log to backup, along with record five addition, record four will be deleted in the next restore of the log backup. So if I restore my log backup, what it happens, it deletes the uh, restored fourth record and then it adds the fifth record. So, but my requirement is I want to restore all the five records. Okay. And I'm going to achieve it using point in time recovery method. So what is this point in time recovery in SQL Server? This allows a database administrator to restore or recover a set of data from the backup from a particular point in time. It means you have to be sure or you, you need to know the backup files which you want to restore to a specific point in time and you are sure about the date and time when your data has been deleted. For this, your database should be in bulk log recovery model or full recovery model. But if you keep your database in bulk log recovery model, there is one exception that is if a log backup contains bulk log changes the point in time recovery is not possible to a specific point in time within that backup let us see a demo here in my instance i have a sample database which is db123 and in this database i have total three tables i am taking product table as an example the contents in this table are Nothing. There is no data in this table. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to insert few records, record one and record two, and then I'll take a full database backup. So I have inserted two records in this table. You can see two records are there. And then I'm going to take a full backup. You can see the time here. It's around six, six o'clock. So full backup is completed and then I'm going to insert record 3 record 3 is inserted after inserting record 3 I'm going to take a differential backup this differential backup happened at 6 1 p.m. This happened at 6 1 pm. Okay. And then I am going to insert another record which is record 4. And then I am going to take a log backup. Log backup is completed. And the time for the first log backup is 6 2. It is 6 2 pm. Okay, after that, what I'm going to do is, 
I'm going to insert another record which is record file. This is inserted at 6.3 pm. Okay, you can see the time it is 6.3. And uh, after two minutes, I'm going to delete this record four. Okay, so you can see the contents in this table. I'm having total five records. So till 6.3 pm, I have all the five records. And at 6.5, I am going to delete the record for this one. Okay. And then I'll take the log backup. So let's wait for two minutes. I'm just skipping the time. You can see now the time is 6.5. I'm going to delete the record. And after one minute, I'll take a log backup. After one minute, one minute means 6, 6 p.m. Okay. The time is now 6, 6. Now I'm going to take the last log backup of my database. Okay. So record inserted, inserted, deleted and backups are taken. Now the present data in this table are I have only four records my record four is deleted now you may get a request to restore your deleted record in this table the row in this table may be deleted knowingly or unknowingly and you have to perform the restore of this deleted record so how do we do that we'll do that using point in time recovery to do a point in time recovery, you have to be sure about the timing when that record has been deleted. So here I know that record has been deleted at around 6 5 pm. So my data is safe till 6 3 pm, right? It means I have to restore this log backup till 6 3 pm only or before 6 5 pm. Okay, so let's start the restore process check for your database backup files so i have my full backup differential backup and two log backups so here you can either restore it to the current database and replace the existing one or you can restore it to the new database and then at the end you can change the connection string so you can do as per your comfort so here i am going to overwrite the existing database so go to right click on this database go to tasks and then restore database my database backups are already auto populated here if you want to browse you can select this device and you can browse the database backup files okay so i have total four backups you can see one full backup differential backup transaction log and two transaction logs okay so you can see the timing here the last transaction log backup time was 6 6 pm okay this one we have taken right so i have to restore this last transaction backup till 6 4 or 6 3 okay so you need to just click on this timeline and then select this option specific date and time and then here right 6 4 59 it means we are restoring our database till 6 4 59 pm it means before deleting the transaction okay and okay here go to files you can check if you want to relocate you can choose this option and then go to options select overwrite existing database and uh, I don't want to take any tail log backup because there are no modifications happened after my last log backup. So I'm skipping this. Once you are okay with the all options and here you are going to select restore re with recovery only because there are no other backups after this log backup. Okay. And okay. It has been failed. Let's see what is the issue okay so the database is in use because we have already using this session no 
so that's the reason you can just choose this option close existing connections to destination database and okay your database will be restored without any errors restored completed now this is your database this is the old data we have restored the database now select this product table and fetch the records once i execute you will see all the file records right you have got your fourth record which is deleted one in this way we restore a database to a specific point in time okay we can also restore database to a specific point in time using t sql query you just need to use stop at and then mention the time frame along with the date okay i hope you have understood and before i conclude this video i just want to ask you a small question so here let's say after this delete operation i have inserted two records at 6 8 pm and 6 10 pm and then i'll take a log back up at 6 15 pm if you want to restore this deleted record we have restored till 6 4 4 59 pm that means before 6 5 pm and we have got all the five records but if i restore this log back up till 6 10 pm i'll get this 6 and 7 record but not this fourth record but my requirement is to get all the seven records including this delete record so how do i restore all the seven records into my database so this we will discuss in our next video if you know how to restore this please do comment below we will meet in our next video if you enjoy this video please hit like button do share and subscribe my channel for more videos thanks for watching that's all in this video thanks for watching the video please do like share and subscribe for more videos